This is a room with a lot of reverb. If you want to hear it really well, grab some headphones. But if I step away from the microphone, now it becomes a room with a lot of reverb. But if I press a button, now it's a room with a lot less reverb. One, two, one, two. This is voice focus off. This is voice focus on. So how am I doing this? This is the Wave XLR. It's a single input audio interface for XLR microphones by Elgato. And it has been available since 2021, but I haven't even noticed. It wasn't until last month when Elgato updated their companion software Wavelink that comes with the Wave XLR or other Wave microphones when they included something called voice focus. And that is why you're hearing a reduction in reverb. This is the first time I've seen this work really well in real time. You can hear it now, voice focus is on. And this is what it sounds like when voice focus is off. If I'm further away from the microphone, you can hear much more of the reverb in this room. We'll go ahead and click it on. And now you hear with voice focus at about 95%, the reverb has been significantly reduced. I sound closer to the microphone like I'm using proper mic technique. And that's what reverb does. It makes you sound like you're more distant from the microphone. It makes your audio sound really thin, but you can hear voice focus knocking all of that down in this very challenging environment. Voice focus brings speech to the forefront, pure, clear, free of noise. Voice focus brings speech to the forefront, pure, clear, free of noise. So reverb reduction is that final DSP, digital signal processing effect that I've been waiting for, for a complete vocal chain for dialogue. We have things like compression, de-essing, filters, and noise reduction, which works really well now, but reverb has still been a problem. Well, with voice focus, it does three primary things. It does noise reduction, it has some isolation, and I explore all that in the other video. So check out all the things that voice focus does, but it's the reverb reduction that made me reach out to B&H and have them send me out one so I could test it myself. This is voice focus off. Let's hear it at 25%. This is voice focus on at 25%. This is voice focus on at 25%. Elgato is in the lead here because they're the first one to have this sort of real time plugin for their interface. But what I'm really excited about is seeing other manufacturers integrate this into their products so that we can have more microphones and audio interfaces that allow us to have the full processing chain. I think right now the most value with the Wave XLR is for someone who travels. If you're in a space that is very reverberant and would help you out, I would say treat that space first because you're recording there all the time. Don't rely on a plugin to do this. But if you're in a space where you cannot control the environment, you cannot put up any kind of acoustic paneling or dampening, or maybe you're traveling and you're in a hotel room somewhere that's not treated for sound, this can be a really good way to knock down that reverb. One note of caution though, you do have to be on a semi-recent computer or OS for Windows. You need to be on Windows 11, 64-bit. If you're on Mac, you need to be on 14.2 or higher. All right, so there's obviously much more to the Wave XLR. It's a good entry-level audio interface, maybe the best priced audio interface if you only need to input one microphone into your computer. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time. This is voice focus off. And this is voice focus at 50%. This is voice focus at 50%. This is voice focus off. This is voice focus at 75%. And this is voice focus at 75%. Finally, one more time, voice focus off. Voice focus at 100%.